Assalamualaikum. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create melee enemy before creating shooter enemy. Because in our final game, we will have only the shooter enemies. Uh, but uh, I will I, I want to explain how we can create melee enemies as well. So this is this video is, uh, is for creating melee enemies. So for melee enemies, we will go to Invector AI controller, create new AI, and we can choose our model I will just choose this one and we can select animator controller and in this case we will select uh, in vector AI melee combat for FSM behavior controller we can select FSM uh, melee and that is fine so now we will click on create now we have our melee enemy we will just uh, move our enemy to our player so that we can see uh, enemy in a better way so I think our player is around here so we will move this enemy sorry right here Yeah, and then we will press F to focus on enemy. So this is our melee enemy, and we will make just some adjustments in properties of this enemy. So let's uh, select this enemy, and in the right side you can find AI melee controller. Inside AI melee controller, we will go to detection and we will change our detect layer to player also we will change detect tags to player so now our melee will detect our player also if we uh, switch on debug visual then you can see that our melee is detecting from bottom and we want to detect uh, uh, player from his eyes position okay so what we can do we can just uh, create a another uh, game object inside spine and neck maybe and head I will just create an empty object and I will just make it name eyes and we can place these eyes whatever wherever we want and then we will just select the enemy and we will add these eyes in detection point reference and now you can see our enemy is detecting our player from his eyes position uh, we can move these eyes wherever we want okay and i am just placing these eyes here so he will detect us at this level so now we will select again our character and here inside melee manager we will have to uh, make one more change which will be in hit properties and inside hit properties we have hit damage tags and here you can see that we are melee can damage enemy okay so we will change it to player so our enemy will damage player only okay with the tag player so that's it for our melee enemy and now if we I will just uh, switch off this visual detection and now if we play game then hopefully you will see that our melee will detect us and he will fight with us and hopefully he will damage us so let's see that uh, how it will look like and yeah here is our melee enemy and if he will he detect us you can see he can uh, smash us yeah you can see and we our player is damaging and finally he died okay so in this way we can create melee enemy we can also add sword or any other axe or any other weapon to our melee enemy so for adding weapon we can just go to in vector ai template prefabs and we have prefabs for weapons okay 
so we have some weapons here and actually these are the guns and we also have sword here yeah you can see sword and we can also have uh, this uh, weapon as well a shield so we can just drag drop this sword inside our scene and this shield in our scene we can also change the meshes of these weapons okay so we will just select the she uh, this uh, sword and we will may add the sword inside the right arm of our player so uh, here you can see right shoulder right arm right forearm right hand okay and inside right forearm we can just drag drop this here okay and then we can make it position to zero 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 so it will be at the exact position here okay in our right hand then we can definitely rotate it as per our need so i will just make it here and i think this sword should be inside right hand okay not in forearm so inside right hand we have added this sword and then we can just move it to right place so let's add it here yeah and i think uh, this is the right place yeah so that's nice for shield we can add that shield inside a left arm and we will just extend the left shoulder left arm left forearm left hand and inside left hand we will just drag drop this shield here and then we will also make it a zero 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 so now this shield is here and we can just rotate the position of the shield like this wherever you want okay so where you you can feel that it's at the right place then we can just put this shield over here uh, okay and and that's it so now if we play the game you will see that the enemy should have this weapon automatically and he will hold and he will attack us with the weapon so let's see yeah you can see the enemy and he will attack us with sword and you can see we just die in a second okay so we can also change the properties of these uh, sword and uh, shield as well we can also change the mesh of this uh, shield and sword so for example you want to change the mesh of model of this sword you can select the sword you can extend it component and inside sword vlan you can just uh, delete this mesh and you you can add your own mesh here okay so it's very easy um, and uh, also we can change the properties of this sword if you okay so that's it for melee enemy you can add as much as enemies you want in your game and in next video we are going to create shooter enemy for our game